everyone, welcome back to Talking Options. So right now you guys understand the basics of the options contract and now you also understand long options and short options. Well, I have to add something else to the plate now. Now it's time to talk about the options contract but the premium. So you have to understand what is the contract even worth? Is it worth something? How do they actually price options contracts? Remember, options contracts are a derivative of an overall underlying. So it could be a derivative of stocks. It could be a derivative of futures, which is what we primarily trade. But it's usually a derivative because we're trying to get more leverage in the market. That's what we're looking for. So when we're talking about options price, there's two key components to it. So I'm just going to write OP. And OP stands for options price. So OP is equal to IV plus EV. Yeah, we're going back to math class now. So IV is intrinsic value. And so intrinsic value basically means what is the contract worth based on the strike price, the strike price, and the stock price. That tells you like is it in the money? Is it out the money? Is it out of the money? Now those are three key components that I'm just going to write right here so I can remind myself to talk about in the money, out the money, and out of the money. And these three talk about, well, no, not this. <laughs> Literally out of the money. So put OTM here. These are three key terms that you're going to have to remember. Um, and they, again, they just talk about where is the strike price relative to where the stock is currently or the underlying currently trading at. So you have intrinsic value and then you have extrinsic value. And extrinsic value basically talks about time. So remember with options contracts, you have an uh, expiration date in which you can be correct, right? Well, the extrinsic value tells you how much value is in that contract based on the time that's left until expiration. How much time do you have left to be correct? How much time is it is affecting your overall contract? Now, one key thing that I've mentioned before that you also have to remember is that extrinsic value is very, very important when we're talking about long options. And the reason being is because when you buy outright, extrinsic value, it works a lot quicker. And that's how you can end up with a contract that is basically deemed worthless. So I wanna give you um, an example. So say for example, I'm doing a long put. So remember, we know the four building, the four building blocks now. So this should be pretty much very easy to understand. So let's say we have a stock that is um, trading at 50. We'll say that this is trading at $50 right now. And we have our strike price at 65. So I'm gonna tell you that if the strike is at 65 and I tell you that the IV right now is $10, what I'm basically telling you is that the intrinsic value of this stock to this strike, actually this should be 15. This is basically where is this trading at compared to the stock price. So the IV right now, if I just subtract the strike from the stock, I know that because this is a long put and I want the underlying to actually go down and right now the stock is actually at 50, this contract has at least $15 worth of IV. But there's another component, which is the EV. So this number right here, if you add this plus this, you're gonna get the options price. So let's say for example, the options price right now is trading at 20. So this contract is gonna cost me $20. That means that I know that the EV in this case is $5. The time value in this overall long put contract is $5. Why is that important? Because when we start talking about short options, you're gonna realize that the only thing that's really important is the EV. And the reason why the EV is the only thing that's important is because when you're trading short options, you are only thinking about the extrinsic value. You want the actual contract for the long position to be worthless because if it's worthless, then you are correct because short options, they take the opposite position for long, um, long options. So I want to give you another example. Um, let's do one for long calls. So a long call, I wanted to go up, correct? So let's say for example that the stock 
is right now trading at $25. And the strike price that I have right now is at 10. Well, already I know that if the, stri if the strike is at 10 and the stock is currently at 25, then I have an IV of 15. So then again, I want to find out what is the EV. Let's say, for example, this options contract is trading at $30. That's a pretty good trade. Um, that means that the EV would be 15. So that would mean that I have $15 worth of IV and $15 worth of EV for an options, pro uh, options price to come up to $30. So that explains long calls and long puts. Let me see if I can erase this real quick to show you how it would look for the short options. So while I'm erasing this, um, I have these three right here. Now this is called the in the money, at the money, and out of the money. And the reason why in the money, at the money is really important to understand is let me explain it from a long position. So when I say something is in the money, basically what I'm trying to say is that if I have a contract that right now is trading at 50, and um, let me, yeah, I have a contract that's trading at 50, and my strike price was at 30, and I'm doing a long call. So that means that I, I basically bought at 30, saying that I think that this underline is gonna go up. Well, it did go up, it went up to 50. So that means that I'm $20 in the money. You want a contract to be in the money because if it's in the money, then you're making money from a long position. But if you were opposite of that long call and you were a short, a uh, short call, for example, you would be losing money in that case because that would mean that that contract is in the money. You want things to be out of the money. You want it to expire worthless for the long side. So that means that you are making money. So in this case, again, it's very um, easy to understand if you just look at it from the buyer's perspective. The buyer always wants it to be in the money. They don't even want it to be at the money because the thing about time decay is that time decay doesn't care about at the money. If you keep that, if the underlying is flat and you're buying out right, you're not at your break even because your break even, you have to subtract that by the amount that you paid. That's the reason why short options, they can make money if the stock or the underlying is at the money or if it's out of the money. So let me give you an example. Let's say we're doing a short call some notes here and we have a strike that's trading right now at $60 right let's say this stock right now is at 50 so that means that this short call position is out of the money why do we say it's out of money because a short call is bearish this is me saying that this is a bearish position. Well, what's the opposite of a short call? A long call. So if I were in this position and I was long and I, I said that I believe that um, this stock is going to go above 60 and right now it's at 50, that contract for the long, per the long person is out of the money. That's what you want if you're in the short position because then that means that right now you're correct on your position. It actually did go down but even if it was at 60, you would have still been making profit on this particular trade. Here's another one. I don't know if you can see it right here. But if you have a short put, same thing. I have a stock that right now is trading at $35. Let's say that this is a, this is a stock price right now, right? And my strike... My strike was at 30. So then that means again, this actually did go into the direction that I perceived that I thought it was going to by $5. Right now it's out of the money for the long position, but for me who's trading it um, and I'm short collecting premium, this is out of the money and I'm, I'm making profit on it. So the long position would be the ones losing money in this case, but in this case for me, I'd be making money if I had this short call position. So a key thing to remember is that for short calls, you're trying to keep the premium that you already collected because that is the max that you can make. So in that case, when something is out of the money, you are trying to collect as much as you can as possible. 
with the long positions, you want it to be in the money because you have a maximum, you have an unlimited on the profit that you can make, but you have a maximum on what you can lose. So for you, you need something to move quick. And that's the reason why when we start talking about um, more complicated strategies, and by that I just mean multiple legs, like straddles, long straddles versus a short straddle, you'll see that the reason why sh long straddles are used for like economic news, when we're trading economic news, is because we want to see volatility. We need it to move either up or down for us to make money. But the key thing is we need it to be liquid. We need it to be volatile. That is the reason why we use long options is because we need some sort of movement to see that profit. So that just breaks down the beginning proportions to the option price. Hopefully you understand now the IV and the EV. <laughs> I just saw this. The EV, which is the extrinsic value, and that tells you the time, the value that's in it based on the time that's left for the contract. So make sure, don't forget to subscribe to your girl Talk Talking Options because we're gonna have the latest information available for you. Available, <laughs> I'm tongue twisted. Available for you every single time you come back. Um, talking Options, this is what we're trying to do. Not only teach you how to talk options from a trading standpoint, but how can you talk options with your overall portfolio? Not only talking about Forex here, not only talking about futures, talking about stocks as well, giving you the best that works for you. So until next time, make sure you talk at options. I'll see you guys later.